This is my second time recording this because my camera keeps freezing in OBS. This is just a quick video, even though I'm not known for making quick videos, I'm going to try and make this short and sweet. I am on board with the Wyatt 6. Vince Russo thinks it's going to fail within the first month under the tutelage of Triple H. That could be true. I don't know. I can't predict the future. I am not Nostradamus. What are your thoughts on the whole thing? Do you think it's going to flop? Do you think it's disrespectful to the legacy of Bray Wyatt? Or do you think it pays homage to the legacy of Bray Wyatt, which is why Jojo, that's her name, the Bray Wyatt's wife, and this man here, Bo Dallas, the real brother of Bray Wyatt, and their father, Mike Rotunda? I keep forgetting his real name. He was known as Erwin R. Scheister back in the 80s and 90s with the Million Dollar Man Ted DiBiase, which I grew up um, watching. They're on board with it, as well as Bo Dallas's and Bray Wyatt's real-life sister. So just a quick recap, Bo Dallas, remember, I bo all you got to do is Bo leave. I've always loved this guy. He's the younger, real-life brother, again, of Bray Wyatt. We've got Dexter Loomis, who is this dude here, the Raven guy, who uh, took out, you know, Chad Gable. Almost forgot his name for a minute. Then we've got Nikki Cross, who is sort of like the Sister Abigail, the witch person. Joe Gassi is the pig. And Eric Rowan is the Wabbit. And I am just excited. Now, the massacre that happened in the back, these are the people alleged to have been victims of the attack. Carmelo Hayes, Gunther, the Ring General. That was cringy, but I had to do it. Dirty Daddy Dom Dom Mysterio, Triple H, Chad Gable, and Cody Rhodes. They've all been symbolically left for dead. And these names are either confirmed because they were actually seen on camera or it's highly assumed. Okay? So I'm on board. I don't think it's a disgrace. I think it's, it's wonderful what they're doing. I don't know how without Bray Wyatt how they're going to pull this off. I'm not saying they can't do it. I'm just saying it's going to be very interesting because even with the Bray Wyatt character and the whole Wyatt family thing, with all due respect, he was struggling at some point trying to break through and keep climbing, right? And he had to like reinvent himself and that can be a very difficult thing and he pulled it off. He pulled it off with the Fiend and all that stuff and it was fantastic. How are they going to do this? I don't know. Where do you go from here? How many times can you just keep doing these massacres and big shocking things? And I don't know. But that whole vibe, I'm really into that. The blinking lights, the cult-like things, the horror, the Blair Witch Project-ish, Resident Evil-ish, whatever you want to call this thing that Bray Wyatt used to do with the vignette promos with the little old light bulb that was kind of flickering. I don't know how you call that, but that thing, I absolutely adore. I don't think you get it, or maybe you do now. So maybe I'm just biased and I love the whole Rotunda family and I just, I wanna see them do well. Uh, I, these are all people, by the way, that I really appreciate. I really appreciate all of these people and, well, not so much him, anyways, I do. Uh, and, and I want them to, to do well, and I think that they can do the role pretty good. It is interesting to see this person, this person, this person. I say that because they were never in the White family before, but even though I know nothing about him and I've seen him on NXT, is my face frozen? No. Uh, I've looked into them a lot, and it's like, oh, yeah, they, they fit that. You know what I mean? Like, they just fit in there. Now, it says Wyatt 6. It's Wyatt 6. Are there six people? Well, that was the whole thing before with Bray, if I'm not mistaken, the Wyatt Six. Even in his, um, whatchamacallit, Twitter profile, there was never six members, if I'm not mistaken. Right now, we've got five members. Some people are speculating the sixth member could be Alexa Bliss. Not a completely crazy idea, given the obvious fact that she used to be with Bray Wyatt. Um... 
I wish Braun Strowman would be back in there because he used to be one of the original members that they had brought into the Wyatt family. Uh, maybe the sixth person is just Bray Wyatt's spirit in the lantern or something like that. So part of that, oh, which one is it? I mean, it's kind of cool because right now it's the Wyatt six, but there's five of them. Right? So let me know down below in the description box what you think. Do you think this can succeed under Triple H's thing? Can they draw inspiration and ideas from fans and Bo Dallas and the likes of the people that are in the group? They can come together and try to come up with something without the incredible mind of Bray Wyatt. I think I think it can potentially work. I, I, I believe that creative put a lot of thought into this and they didn't just, well, they've done it before. Where they pitch an idea, they, they go balls out, balls to the wall with something, and sometimes it doesn't work, sometimes it does, but you won't know when, unless you kind of try and feel it out and see how it goes from week to week with the people, how they react and all that. Uh, but so far, I think they're off to a banger of a start. And again, everybody that was targeted is symbolic in that uh, there, they may have crossed paths with the White family before. Okay, good. I'm still not frozen because earlier I was like, like I don't know what happened. Like my camera had a stroke or something, and then I looked like I had one. So, and I've had one before, so I can make that joke. Anyhow, I just wanted to share that this is what's up. These are the alleged victims. These are the people unmasked that are in the Wyatt Six. What the six means? Blah 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 blah. And that uh, they're remaining pretty tight-lipped about the rest of the stuff for obvious reasons. And I am excited. Are you? Let me know down below. Where do they go from here? Is this paying homage to Bray Wyatt? Is this disrespectful? No judgment. I want to hear what you think for two reasons. Because I actually care. And the other one's a bit of an ulterior motive. Because it helps with the algorithm in promoting my channel and the video. The more engagement there is on a video of mine. Not saying that it deserves the extra engagement. I'm just being honest. So with that said, thumbs up if you like the video. It does greatly help support the channel with the algorithm. A thumbs down if you didn't like it, and I'll bend it in half, twist it. I'll break it off in your ass, or I'll send her after you. Well, you might like that too much. And uh, if you want to subscribe to the channel, naturally, that'd be great. But if not, thanks for stopping by anyways. Take care. And I will have a link down below in the description box for this article here to credit, to credit them. Um, for the information that I got from him. So take care, and until next time, bye for now.